Okay, let me give you a quick tutorial on keyframes using our layer down here, and, and hopefully it will help you understand when we start doing tweens how this kind of works. Keyframe is basically anytime you want to change what's on the screen, either via uh, a tween or some sort of animation that's happening, or you just want something totally new on the screen. So, <clears throat> for example, on layer one, notice here how it's uh, a circle with nothing in the middle of it. That's because there's nothing on this frame. That means it's a blank keyframe. So if I add something to the frame, a circle, notice how it turned black, it's totally filled in, that is a keyframe. So it's no longer a blank keyframe because there's something on it now. Then if I come down here and because this animation is uh, 24 frames per second, I want it to be one second long. I'm going to add a frame and now it can actually be one second long because before, right, if I go back, before it was just one frame long or one twenty-fourth of a second. So uh, now uh, the shortcut keys are really important for you to know when you're doing this because it will make you a lot faster. There are ways around it, right? I can right click on that frame and I can say insert keyframe or insert blank keyframe or insert frame. I can also come up to insert and then go to timeline and then blah, blah, blah but shortcut keys are much faster. So if I want to extend this out so that this is on the screen for one full second, I'm going to hit the F5 key. I'm gonna click on the frame I want it to go to and then hit F5. And notice how it creates a gray bar and then it's got a black box at the end. That means it's the end of this particular keyframe. Now, let's say on frame 20, I want a new or sorry, 20, yeah, so, yeah, 20. I want a new blank or a new keyframe. A new keyframe, not a blank keyframe, but I want a keyframe that has this same information on it, right? Whatever I have on here. So if I hit F6 on my keyboard, it creates basically a new keyframe. Now, let's move this circle to a new location just so you can see that when I get to frame 20, it moves locations. Okay, that's what a keyframe does. It allows us to basically create some sort of motion or uh, movement or animation. That's the whole point of keyframes. So I'm going to come down again further. Uh, I don't know, just down to here is fine. And I'm going to hit F5 again. So now I've extended each one to a certain point. Now, if I decided I wanted this keyframe to be at a different point, that's okay because all I have to do is select it. So click on it once and then click and drag. So it's not a double click, but it's like a click, a pause, and then click and drag, and then I can drag it wherever I want. So if I wanted to make this animation shorter or longer, I can do that, okay? Now in order to add a blank keyframe, let me click on the frame at the very end here, then I'm going to hit F7. One quick note on F7, um, when you hit F7 on the Mac keyboard, it's defaulted to like control iTunes or something like that. You'll notice on the icon there. So you have to hold down the function key, which is the FN key, when you hit the F7 key. Otherwise, it's not going to uh, react. It won't do anything when you hit F7 probably. Or if you're in iTunes, it will start playing with your music. So uh, just keep that in mind. You have to hold down FN and then hit the F7 key in order for it to uh, create the blank keyframe for you. Now, notice again that it's a blank keyframe. Okay, it's not filled in like this other one, or these two, and there's nothing on it. So I could create something totally new on this keyframe, and now all of a sudden, let me extend that out, F5, and now I've got it moving, and then it turns into a box. Okay, so this is again how we create animation is through what we call keyframes. And there's lots of different ways to use these keyframes. We can do a frame by frame animation. We can do tweens, which we'll talk about. But you just need to know that a keyframe is basically one point in time at what the canvas looks like or your drawing or whatever it is at that point of time. Then when you come down here, it's a different point in time. So then we can make some changes in between here. So we could add more, that's what tween is. We can add more uh, keyframes in the middle. So if I say I want to have more here and then I could take this object and move it over a little bit. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna move it over a little more back. And so now we can see that it kind of moves slowly. This is kind of the basics of frame by frame animation. But hopefully that helps you 
So we have uh, frames, extending frames, so that's F5. A new keyframe is F6. And a blank keyframe is F7. Uh, 